G'day, my name's Mick Humphreys. I'm a fifth generation cotton farmer from Moree. Uh, I farm in the Moree area with my cousin and my father. And this year we have around 400 hectares of irrigated cotton growing. So the crop behind me has been grown this year using basically 50% groundwater, which is uh, pumped from our groundwater allocation, and 50% from water which was carried over from uh, coped and irrigation water from 2016. So we choose to grow cotton because it is the best return of dollars per megalitre for our water. Uh, we don't exclusively grow cotton, we also grow irrigated wheat, barley, sorghum and chickpeas. The biggest misconception about the cotton industry is that we just have unlimited access to water. Uh, basically whenever we like we can just turn our pumps on and take water out of the creek, which is 100% not true. So the local cotton industry, uh, we, we try to support our local community as, as much as we possibly can. We raise a lot of money for the local schools and Westpac helicopter. We have a medical scholarship to encourage uh, graduate doctors to spend time in the bush. So the impact to us, if cotton was banned as per Rex Patrick's proposed bill, uh, we'd still use our water allocation. We'd grow crops. Those crops wouldn't be as profitable for us which would flow onto the community, so every dollar that we spend to grow our crops becomes less dollars returned to the community. Less dollars returned to the community means less people in the bush, less people in our town.